the Doberman Dog. Considered to be one of the most intelligent and loyal dogs in the world, they were originally bred during the 1890s by Louis Doberman, a tax collector as a guard dog. Now they're recognised for their versatility, serving as police dogs or beloved members of a family. Today we're in Qingdao, China, heading to a discreet location in the mountains to visit a Doberman kennel. In this video, we see firsthand how the dogs are bred, cared for and eventually sold. When you think of Asians and dogs, there's usually one thing that comes to mind, that they eat them. So I decided to change that point of view to show a different side to the negative stereotype. Join me as we enter the Doberman dog trade. All right, we're heading into the, heading into the dog place. Here. Here's this one. I don't think so. It must be. I don't know how you're on. This must be it. Yeah, it is. I heard it. You heard the dogs? You open a small skirt. I tried to before, yeah. I didn't open it. Oh, that? Oh, yeah. Get out. <laughs> Let's go in. Dog's barking already. Anyhow. Alright, don't know, drive in. Hello! Anyhow. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> Put the camera as well. Hello. Wow. After getting acquainted with the family who runs the kennel, the boss shows us round to see the dogs. Yeah. Alright, so he's taking us into his... It's the dog's den. Oh, so this is it? This is where all the dogs are kept. Wow. Oh. 30 dogs in here. Oh, so you can tell he's got a real operation in here. Lots of different kind of dogs. Oh, look at this. Don't touch it. You. You shock it. You don't wear that clothes. You shock. These guys. Because you, uh, you use that oil to clean the oil. So he he has this big he has this big field over here. This is so short. Let me let's go down here. Oh. So. He, he has this big field in here. What, what goes into looking after these dogs? Like, what do they have to do every day to look after so many? Well, you feed them twice a day. What, what food would they give them? Is it like chicken bones and things like this? No, the, some liver, heart. Something. Heart and liver, so raw, raw meat. No, 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 Let's have a look. So different kinds of rice and meat. There's going a wheelbarrow in Spain. It's the dog food, right? Yeah. Wow. It comes in this little furnace here. Oh, oh, same. Fire. It's got like a burning. burning <laughs> What's in here? Oh, the dog's meat? Okay, so this is all for the dog. Feeding the dogs. This lovely lady obviously cooks it all. And they've got some other bits and bobs. Put it in this little bucket in space. The wheelbarrow with some rice and <laughs> stuff. So even the Chinese dog's on the Asian diet with the um, with rice. Yeah. What time will you wake up to look after the dogs? Oh, oh. 
Oh, okay, so this guy wakes up at five in the morning. Uh, what do you mean? Do you go? Yeah? Okay, so five in the morning. Uh, okay, so five in the morning, he lets his dogs come here and then lets them run around. So they're up bright and early. These are cheap. Because the ears. No, because the ass is too Nicki Minaj. Too oh, high. The, the tail's too high. Oh, no, the bum. The bum has to be low. That, 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 this shape. Oh. Uh, this shape, right? Ah. Uh, 对，然后它的，然后它的尾巴应该是在这个，这个背部直接出来的尾巴。你看它这个尾巴是在臀部下去一点，又出来。Because the tail have to grow like this, like smooth, but his ass like Nicki Minaj shape. <laughs> And how, how do people find him, his buyers and things? I, I saw inside, he, he takes him to some shows as well. So he's advertised on the social media and they can find him. Oh. What's like the most expensive dog he has here, he thinks? Leo. This one? It's Leo. Leo. Inside. Inside. Oh, did that dog just... Did that dog literally Leo, just go Leo. and wake him up? Leo. 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 He's going to call the dog out. They all know his name. Yes. Leo! Leo! Go out. Leo. 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 How much? Four hundred thousand. Four hundred thousand. So fifty thousand pounds for a dog. Yes. What? No. Oh. Oh. I'll look the ass, not Nicki Minaj. Like go down. Ah, so if the the back of the dog's flat. And the the tail is so smooth. Wow. Leo pays how much? This is the most expensive dog called Leo. And that's why he shares the kennel with, with this dog. You know how much Leo, uh, somebody brought Leo to have sex? Oh, rent him. So they'll, they'll breed the dog as well. No, you, Leo sperm. Just so Leo will go to do the prostitute job. How that's much? 20,000. Really? 20,000 wow. for once. So they'll even rent these dogs out to other breeders who want to make a similar type of dog. And just to use his semen, his sperm, um, to make other dogs, they'll charge 20,000 on top of that. So it's like 3,000 pounds. This is Leo, right? Wow, look at this dog. The most expensive dog. 50,000 pounds. So about $60,000. This is Leo? Yeah, yeah, this is Leo. Is Leo a boy or a girl? Boy, you can see the cop. But he's got nipples and stuff. <laughs> What's Leo, that? Leo, Leo. 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 Come. This dog is where? Serbia. Serbia. From Serbia. It's a foreign country. Foreign country is the dog. Germany. Pinto is the dog. Oh, so this dog won, um, I think it was 2007. He won like a World Cup. He came fourth in the World Cup of Doberman Dogs. This is Slovenia. Oh, Slovenia. Okay, so this is all in Slovenia. Wow. So they send these dogs all, up, all around the world. She uh, has son in uh, 2006. Oh, wow. Okay, so this one was in Italy. Another dog they made, or they bred, in 2005. It was like a champion in Italy. What kind of person would buy these dogs? Everyone. Just everyone, yeah? It's not like a special seller. 
can I go in the field? Are we allowed in the field? Yeah, the, the grass. Well the, well, the dogs run out. What? Which one? The can grass? I, can I go in the grass? Yeah. You, you go by yourself. Yeah. Is this a toy? Can yeah. I throw it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's take it. 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 它有点调皮，可能会扑什么的。但但是没有危险。Okay, that's hard. Don't be scared. No. Are you coming in? No, no. Better get in. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, he stole it straight off me. Hey, what is this? Wow. So this one, I think, one of these is Leo's son. So these are the dogs that they'll they'll eventually sell. But as he was saying, some of these dogs cost up to three thousand to to five thousand, even up to fifty thousand. The most expensive one, but they're really smart dogs, as you can see, running around. But it's really interesting seeing all these these Doberman dogs here. They're literally just selling these from from this little farm farm area where they have the dogs. But coming to the, coming here today was really eye-opening. Just seeing how this place works, and people in China get a lot of stick about dogs. But this person actually seems like he's doing something decent. He's got this big, great place for the dogs to come and run around. There's people looking after them. Oh, want to play? Let me grab it. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Oh, he's broken it completely now. Oh, ah. So, so, so. Hey, they're really playful dogs, eh? Look at these guys. Resting around, they're really smart as well. Look like at this great big field they got to run around in. <laughs> they're breaking it, eh? Let me grab it. Okay, ready? All right, three, two, one. He lost the ball. Oh, they can't see red, right? Dogs can't see red. Oh, this dog's stolen it. Next one. Hey, hey, hey. Go, go. My dear. Oh my God, mine out the way. This dog is super smart. Oh, just start dropping it. Down, down, down. Go on. Go on. Ready? All right, three, two, one, go. Let's go in here. It might be quite dark to see. Oh, it's dark, eh? Let me turn on my phone light. Can you see? I don't know if you can see that, guys. But... Wow. So how how long will it take for how how long will it take for these puppies to grow and get bigger? Puppies, puppies, how long? Well, how Two months old. So soon we... That's it. How long will it take for these dogs to grow to a big dog? How long will it take? One year and it'll be fully grown? Wow. In order to become an expensive dog such as Leo, Doberman dogs must undergo a procedure known as ear cropping and tail docking. 
This involves surgically altering the ears and tails. In some countries, including China, this practice is legal and is typically carried out by trained professionals. The next part will demonstrate how this process is done to provide insight into the reality of the Doberman dog trait. Warning, it is graphic and there's a lot of blood. Therefore, I blurred some parts out. Feel free to skip this section if it's hard to watch. Oh my god, what are they doing? Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh no. Now, hello. Bloody hell, it's all these dogs. So they're cutting their, they're cutting their ears, coughing their ears and their tails. Oh my god, his head. Oh my god. This one. It's like the anaesthetic. Let's give it to the dog. So it shoots it in its leg to numb the pain, I guess, when it cuts the tail. Wow. You? Me? No, no, you, <laughs> you can do it. I don't want to do it. <laughs> you do it. Hey, um, why do you cut the ears? This is a general requirement. This is the original breed. The original is a German dog. It requires this kind of procedure. It's very much. He said um, this requirement of the breed. This is uh, from Germany. Um, oh, so basically just saying that this is like a requirement of the dogs. If you don't do this, what will happen to the dog? 早期的玩家会感觉他没有气质，但是现在欧洲的比赛已经不，比赛已经不要求做手做这种手术了。Oh, okay. So I think it's just、uh, like a beauty standard. He's saying、uh, the the translation doesn't make much sense, but basically saying that it's like a beauty requirement for these dogs to to have this. So maybe people prefer the the looking.、Um, but yeah, this is the cost. What happens? What they kind of go through? He has some anesthetic, some needles, and they cut the the ears and the And the tails as well. So people who buy dogs prefer this. Yes. Oh, okay. So it's like a.、Uh, it's not because of their health or something. No. No, no. In the Second World War, this kind of dog has participated in the American War. In that time, they were required to do this kind of procedure. It has a visceral feeling. So he said, "Oh, okay. In World War Two, two, these dogs fought for the Americans' army,、um, and they're required to do such a surgery." Okay, so this kind of practice goes back to、uh, maybe fifty, a hundred years ago, where they used to do this for army dogs. He's saying, "If the ears are not properly trained, it will affect their hearing." He's saying after surgery, the dog's hearing is much better. So this is. Also, so this is actually a way of making the the dogs look better, but also improve their hearing. I'm guessing for the pointy style that they do. Okay, so I think he's gonna cut it with his friend here. He offered me to do it, but I I did not fancy it. So he's just clipping. Oh, he's making incision. Jesus Christ! Blood squirting everywhere. I'll probably blur this bit out. It's pretty gruesome. Fucking hell! It goes in this metal can. Fuck me. He's got some、oh, what they call a hummer. The name of it. But he's applying some heat to the ear to stop the bleeding. <laughs> How long would it take for these dogs to recover? Uh, a year, about twenty days. Ah, about a month. So it says about a month to twenty days. These dogs will will be recovered. How did you learn to do this? Oh, okay. So he, he just basically just said that every place that owns dogs needs to do this as a procedure. So someone who's owning this kind of place will 
have to learn. So he was the chosen one, I guess. But yeah, I mean, you have to be quite tough to do this job in dealing with blood. This process was then repeated on the other ear, using a clamp to hold the ear and using a scalpel to then crop it. A similar process is done for the tail docking. They always shave the dog's fur before making the cuts on both the ears and tail. I guess it's just shaving the tail now, make it easier to, to cut. Don't want any hairs or anything on it. Oh. Yeah, it's a lot of work. I mean, here in the um, in the kennel, just to, around the corner from here, there's um, there's lots of lots of other puppies as well. So I can imagine how many he does. Just today, he's done three or four so far, and he's going to do a lot more, a lot more soon. This procedure was very similar to the ear cropping, so I left this part out. You can imagine what it was like. I just want to give you an idea on how this process is done. After surgery, the ears are held together using paper cups. However, the dogs become disorientated for a while as they need to get used to walking without their tail. They're on the day. These are the recovered ones who've uh, had their ears clipped and tails clipped. Got these little cups on their heads. So these are the ones that will soon recover in two weeks, uh, maybe two weeks, maybe a few months however long it takes and then they'll end up in here in that in those cages ready to be sold or put in the show so this is the price dogs have to pay the mood soon lifted as it was now feeding time the dinner that had been prepared all afternoon was served <laughs> this is what they they just cooked up earlier and you can see all the dogs <laughs> fighting to get some food. That's what goes into raising puppies. Hey, look at all these guys. All gone, none left. Oh, they're hungry. Look at this one. So he's got the pointy ears already. Ah, this one's biting me, it's all over me. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, look at this guy. He, he hasn't had his ears uh, cropped yet. He's got his tail still. Oh, how's he going? Hello. So it's, it's dinner time, it's feeding time. Look at this big bowl they were cooking up earlier. I can't stop eating my shoes. Loves, loves the laces. So yeah, look at this big ball they've got waiting for them. I still want to eat my feet. <laughs> yeah, so they got the food out, ready for the dogs to eat. Feeding these great big dogs every evening. Look at this guy's... Look at his ears. So this one's had his ears cropped. Whereas this one hasn't. These little puppies eventually will. They're still in plastic bags. Yeah. What goes on? Hello. Oh, <laughs> 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 Can I go in? So, huh? Can I go inside? <laughs> so. so this dog, bloody hell. I let them out? Bloody hell. It's puppies. So this is the most expensive dog. 
Yeah, yeah. this is the most expensive yeah. one. Yeah. Wow, so this one's meant to be the smartest. Ooh. Just get an idea how fast that dog was. So if you want this dog, 500,000. Most expensive dog they have. Feed, they'd feed it milk and lots of chicken. Having been fed, it was now time for Leo to go with the boss out into the field to take some pictures for their customers. How much is it for one of these these puppies here? This little dog is about 1,000. 1,000. This this one is 1,000. 1,000. 1,000 pounds for a puppy. Oh, them. them. Just one of them. Mm. Wow. They have like six or seven here. Do, do, do people prefer to buy the puppy or they prefer to buy the big dog? Like this one. They prefer to buy the big dog or the big dog. Puppy. Mm -hmm. puppy. But if you have a dog factory, maybe they buy the big one for give a birth for. Yeah, true. Look at these guys. As the day came to an end, I felt I'd achieved what I came here to do. To show a different side of the dog trade in Asia that isn't about eating them. Before this video, I wouldn't have imagined what life in a Doberman kennel would be like. Now, having experienced it, it's fair to say that overall, the dogs are in good hands. And maybe you think so too. See you for the next one.